I took off to India to to learn from a great Hindustani slide player named Debashish Bhattacharya. And uh, I'd always wanted, I used to have this vision board, you know, of, of like all my dreams and stuff on it, and he was on it. Like, uh, you know, I literally got like a picture of him and a picture of me playing and glued them next to each other. <laughs> And so, I found out that he was doing lessons. And actually, I, was, I actually watched this gig, and this lap steel player was playing. He's like, yeah, I did some lessons with Debashish. And I was like, I remember thinking to myself, no, I, I, I just had to go. I was just like, dude, if everybody's doing it, I'm gonna, I, need to, I didn't realize he was doing it. I was a little bit like, I'm over there. So, I flew over there and, and did lessons with him at his house. It was off season. Usually everybody comes in like wintertime when it was cool. I came in the summertime when it was really hot. And so I just stayed upstairs at this place and and practiced with him. And so I learned heaps of stuff and then um, I kind of, a, a lot of it ended up kind of finding itself or collecting, you know, like, like a whole bunch of water comes off a roof, you know, of all your experiences and, and you get these pools that collect, you know, and sometimes they collect a whole bunch of like leaves and other times they collect a whole bunch of rubbish and sometimes they collect a whole bunch of like candy wrappers and shit. Well anyway, like off, from that time there's this, this little collection of, of what India kind of, and it collected in this song called Wade in the Water, which is like this kind of... Uh, I don't know. It's, I thought it was kind of like a Celtic major kind of tuning kind of thing that I, I'd written before I went to India. And then India kind of happened and I just learned all this technique from Guruji. And, and then by the time I came out on the other side, I wrote these lyrics to the song which were all about wading in the water and going to the mountain and all these kind of... Well, now I look back and go, oh, they're all like really India references, you know, the Ganges. I saw so many people bathing in the Ganges and bodies burning in the Ganges and you know, this idea of the sadhus coming from the mountains into town and out of town and, and my whole experience of what I was going through with anxiety and my own self-doubt and this, all the antennas being on and going, who am I and what am I? and all kind of culminated in this thing called Lead in the Water. And so I look back at it now and I go, oh cool, this, this is this whole kind of self-reflective journey that voiced itself through the techniques I learned in India, the instrument that I practiced in India, and all this, kind of, all this imagery that ended up becoming metaphor for this, a bit of a existential kind of spiritual journey that that I was on during the album and that I'm still pretty much on.